So yes, you absolutely read that right. No Man's Sky is going free to play. Well, sort of. You can go ahead and play the game for free right now for the next four days or so and pretty much jump in the brand new expedition called Omega, which by the way, just released on all platforms and has possibly some of the coolest item rewards I've seen so far in this game. And there are lots more to talk about in this video. I, of course, also finished that expedition on the experimental branch and there are many cool things in there that you're definitely going to love with update 4.5. That being said, let's get started with some of the rewards you should expect from the Omega Expedition, which includes, of course, this really awesome Starborn Runner. So this is a brand new ship that you get once you finish that expedition, and in my opinion, it's by far one of the coolest designs that Hello Games ever put out in the seven years of No Man's Sky's existence. It's also one of the few, if not the only one, that's still animated while in landing mode, so it still wobbles and floats around. Of course, it has those thrusters, like kind of jetting around and I'm doing those electromagnetic effects on the ground so really awesome and once you do get to fly it you will start to appreciate its complexity and the overall looks are just completely amazing you also get a bunch of atlas inspired gear like the atlas scepter also from finishing that this is a multi-tool so it's obviously going to come with an a class but you can upgrade this to the max and also the Atlas um, looking helmet right here, which just fits amazing with everything. And especially so with the jetpack that you will get also as a reward. So you get the jetpack, the helmet, the Atlas Scepter, and then you also get the Starborn Runner all from finishing the Omega Expedition. The only thing I wish they also added was an armor set to go alongside this. But I think that they mentioned some extra rewards from finishing the new Atlas Path that seems to maybe have gotten a bunch of changes. So we shall see if that is actually the case or maybe just me um, interpreting things wrong. But one of the things that they've made exclusively for the new update 4.5 is that they added a whole new way to start expeditions. And in my opinion, a much better way than ever before, because you can actually start expeditions directly from your existing save games. So if you have a main save file that you constantly use, you can head over at the Space Anomaly, there's a new computer over there you can interact with and this lets you transfer at least a portion of your progression, so this includes a bunch of materials as well as upgrade modules so that you immediately become a lot more powerful with that expedition character. And even alongside the expedition, you're going to have the possibility to transfer your current ship with all of its upgrades, as well as multi-tool with all of its upgrades. Which means you can pretty much finish things a lot faster, as that was like the biggest breakpoint uh, during certain expeditions. So besides this, once you're done, you can then go back, finish that expedition, complete it right there from the same terminal, and this is going to then give you a final score. And depending on that final score, which involves how many places you visit, how many extra like, for example, achievements you completed or how fast you did things is going to give you a lot more nanites, quicksilver, even like materials and, of course, a lot of money if you did that right. So it's always going to be worth it for anybody with existing saves to take part into expeditions and not have to create completely separate save files just for that. But besides this, there are other really big changes. One of them is that you can now seize pirate dreadnoughts, so you can board defeated pirate capital ships to confront the captain and claim their vessel. Yeah, this definitely looks like something that um, is like the version of getting dreadnoughts, except that you take it in a forceful way. So I am the captain now is going full circle. Obviously, it's now not just a meme, but you can actually get the dreadnoughts for yourself, which in my opinion is by far the coolest thing because dreadnoughts look amazing. Like if you've seen how they look, the upgrades, the amazing new models, you definitely want to go ahead and capture one of these. And it's one of the first babies I'm going to personally go ahead and try to get so we got this really cool moment in um, in the trailer where you go in you destroy the dreadnought shields and this is going to of course deactivate its protection which means that you can eventually go inside and obviously capture it for your own um, but at the same time it also seems that you can actually cause them to surrender their goods if you did defeat them in battle so uh, maybe this is going to be a good way to make some extra money on the side even though we do have quite a lot of those at this point to basically become a multi-billionaire in this game now another thing that they've done is that atlas path also gets a rework so the classic atlas path mission that you get through pretty much all of the save files 
has been given a new breath of life, culminating in a final consequential choice. Win is the Atlas in all grandeur and decide whether to embrace the path it offers or deny it. Either path will permanently impact your relationship with the Atlas. So it seems that the choice might be more than just stay in the current galaxy or go into the next, which was previously how this kind of culminated. Um, I am definitely looking forward to how this looks like, but in the meantime, I recommend getting um, the expedition going so that you at least have the scepter and all of that and like look the part when you do meet the Atlas in its final form. We of course have other quality of life changes, so we have accessible notifications, you can now manually cycle through different available notifications, either from missions or contextual hints and general guidance, especially so it was very annoying to get mission objectives overwritten by contextual hints, well now you can just um, scroll through them and get the one that you actually need. Um, they also have Atlas Flight Pack. Now, this was one of the rewards I was talking about from the expedition. In my opinion, it's one of the coolest looking jetpacks we've got until now. And it kind of has this um, set of wings onto the side. I really thought they would get animated when flying, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I do hope that in the future, we do have uh, animations for those. It seems like something that um, would be a shame to just stay there static but um yeah the crimson core look on it looks just insane um you can also retain the expedition loot like i said you can use the shared inventory terminal aboard the space anomaly to furnish your primary save with resources and technologies earned during community expeditions and we already know that we actually get a ton of upgrade modules during community expeditions so if you lack any upgrades for characters multi-tool even like spaceships you can definitely use those and not only that you can even use like the inventory upgrades to transfer those at least from what it looks like and from what i played you can transfer some of those inventory upgrades to your actual ship as you do upgrade those during expeditions um, also, new planetary missions. This was one of the major things I wanted to talk about. So they did another revamp of a revamp of, um, well, missions. So alien life forms will offer rewards for a huge array of new planetary missions with objectives specific to that alien's personality, as well as their home planet's climate, geography, and ecology. Again, fully expecting these to fall within the same categories, fighting, collecting, helping, and whatnot. Like, we have an example right here. You have to collect, like, 170 copper, and they will give you, like, Exosuit upgrade charts, which is not too shabby, but you can, of course, also find those back at any space station. And uh, there's also the Twitch drops. We do have some new rewards in there. If you like them, you can totally go ahead, watch your favorite creators, and there are some really cool things in here that you can get. Especially if you miss them, there are like creature companions, there are multi-tools, there's a starship that looks pretty nice. This Atlas Path Final also got some improved effects, so the conclusion to the Atlas Path has been visually enhanced and reworked to create a more spectacular finale. Um, now, I'm not exactly sure how much that will uh, like impact your overall gameplay, it just looks like something that um, yeah just seems a lot better, like we had tons of graphical upgrades. This seems to be around that line where you just have things looking a lot cooler and with a more improved effect. So yeah, definitely the quality over there is really high. But overall, free trial right now available from Thursday, which is, uh, well, today, 15th of February, all the way to the 19th of February. You can go ahead and try out the game via the Omega Expedition, which is accessible to everybody, even those who don't own no man's sky and you're going to find the links to play the game for free on the no man's sky page so pretty much on steam on the consoles on all major platforms you should find it right there now there are some other changes in here that we're not going to talk about but all in all it seems that there are many quality of life improvements and of course many other bug fixes that we really wanted and yeah this was definitely a long-awaited update as it's been available on steam experimental for like a couple of weeks at this point and it definitely seems that it improves the game quite a bit but again if there's any problems it's usually getting fixed within like the next couple of days with additional smaller patches in any case this is pretty much it thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video